Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing good. In this video, I'll discuss about the difference between diabetes mellitus and diabetes insipidus. But before that, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get further updates. All right, so diabetes mellitus and diabetes insipidus might sound the same, but they are not related. They cause different problems and have different treatments. Now on one side we have diabetes mellitus and on the other hand we have diabetes insipidus. Diabetes mellitus is characterized by deficiency of insulin whereas diabetes insipidus by a deficiency of antidiuretic hormone called ADH. Now let's further elaborate this point. You're, you are pretty much aware of what happens when insulin is less. The body ends up with more and more glucose because insulin is responsible for cellular glucose uptake. And when there is no insulin, glucose tends to stay more in your bloodstream. Now let's talk about this bad boy. Kidney normally produces 1 to 3 liters of urine each day. But with diabetes insipidus, urine output exceeds 3 liters every 24 hours and is usually around 15 to 20 liters per day. Now that's a lot of urine. Urine output is regulated by antidiuretic hormone that is also called arginine vasopressin. ADH is made in the hypothalamus and stored in the posterior pituitary gland as shown in this diagram and it also regulates the sensation of thirst. Diabetes insipidus results primarily from two etiologies. Central diabetes insipidus results from decreased manufacture or release of ADH from the posterior pituitary, thus causing the kidneys to release excess water. Whereas nephrogenic diabetes insipidus occurs when the kidneys do not respond to released ADH and continue to excrete diluted urine. Now the second difference between DM and DI is blood sugar level. In diabetes mellitus, blood sugar level is high as compared to diabetes insipidus. The third difference is urine volume. Urine volume in diabetes mellitus is excessive, but in diabetes insipidus is too much. The fourth difference between these two is excretion of sugar in urine. In diabetes mellitus, there is a lot of sugar in urine as compared to diabetes insipidus. Now when it comes to treatment, it's also quite different. In case of diabetes mellitus, you'll usually manage your blood sugar level with insulin shots or other medic medications like metformin. Treatment of diabetes insipidus depends on which type you have. In case of central DI, a synthetic hormone called desmopressin can replace the vasopressin your body doesn't make. In case of nephrogenic diu diuretics, an aspirin or ibuprofen can help with the symptoms. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you find this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and share with your friends as much as you can because sharing is definitely caring guys. Until next time, see ya.